Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is something special. It's my birthday. So today we are going to make a birthday animation in Scratch 3.0. So now let's get started. First you can take images from the internet of Sinchan and then other characters like Harry Potter and Doraemon and a cake and of course me, happy birthday GIF and Luca. So now let's do the coding of Sinchan. So first we'll take the when flag is clicked. After when the flag is clicked, we'll take the forever block from controls. And inside the forever block, we'll put switch costume to the first costume of Sinchan and then next costume. And before going to the next costume, we'll make it wait for some seconds. Like we can make it wait for 0.1 seconds. So the animation is smooth. Like this, uh, his dog and Sinchan will dance. And now you can reset it back to its original position and then let's do the coding of the harry potter sprite for the harry potter sprite we'll first again take when the flag is clicked let's zoom in so it's clear yes and then we'll take the forever block underneath when the flag is clicked inside the forever block we'll put switch costume to the first costume of harry potter and then next costume and before going to the next costume, again we'll make it wait for some span of time so we can make it wait for 0.3 seconds. Then again we'll do another column of coding for Harry Potter to make it dance. So take the set wall effect to 0. And beneath it we'll put the forever block. And inside the forever block we'll take change world effect so just click on that arrow key and then you can switch to any, any other effect like the color effect world effect pixel effect so for this project i'll be using the world effect so just take the world effect change wall effect by 25 and then we'll make, make it wait so we can make it wait for 0 0.5 seconds and then duplicate it and in the second one you can write it as minus 50 so this, this time harry potter will turn towards the right side that means wall towards the right side and then you can take the block set wall effect to zero back to its original position yes now the coding of harry potter sprite is done now harry potter will dance like this and its wand will illuminate and now we can make doraemon dance just like we did Harry Potter so we can make Doraemon dance like right to left it's bending so we'll take the when flag is clicked and then we'll take the forever block first take the switch costume to first costume of Doraemon that means the original costume and then inside the forever block put next costume after the next costume block we'll make it wait for some time so the animation is smoother so make it wait for 0 0.3 seconds now we'll do the coding for the cake so for the cake we have two costumes in scratch first when the cake is lightened up with the candles and in the second when we have blown the candles up so we will take when the flag is clicked forever and then we can make it wait for some time like wait 0 0.5 seconds and then next costume so the animation is smooth again and in the starting don't forget to put the original costume of the cake so we have these cakes like this and then now we don't need to do any coding in the character who will be standing in front of the cake that means me now we'll do the coding of the happy birthday gif so you can take this gif from the internet or google or anywhere so now we'll do the coding when the flag is clicked forever We'll make it next costume and before going to the next costume, don't forget to put wait 0 0.1 seconds. This is very important or the costume will go so fast that you won't even know it. And then switch costume to the original position and then we'll do the coding of Luca. As you remember, I made a game for Luca in one of my previous videos. You can watch it. And now we'll do the coding 
for Luca dancing. So we will not do anything complex in Luca but just a simple animation. So just take point in direction minus 90 at first. That means it will point towards the left direction. And set, set its rotation style to left to right. And then you can put forever block beneath point in direction minus 90. And then point in direction 90 and then we'll take wait one seconds and then we'll again duplicate it and in the second point in direction we'll put minus 90 so the coding of luca is done now we can put a beautiful backdrop any backdrop of your choice actually so i'll be taking the party backdrop so it looks like a birthday themed project with full of balloons now we can do some coding for this background too so we can make the colors of the balloon change, the ground color change like a party. So first take when the flag is clicked and then take forever. And then change color effect by 25. And we can make it wait for some seconds. Like we can make it wait to make the animation smooth 0 0.5 seconds. Like this. And also before testing out the project, we can put a small sound like the birthday sound. So go to the sound section and then you can upload a sound from the scratch library. Any sound you like, like I'll be choosing the birthday sound. So just search for a happy birthday song. You might have heard it. So take this, this song and then go to the code and apply it for to play only once in the beginning. So it will play once in the beginning and then the project will be quiet and everything will be just dancing and color changing and everything. So now we can test out our project. The project looks amazing. Sinchan and its dog Shiro can dance and Lu Luca will dance like here and there. And the cake will also be like lighted up and blown and Doraemon and Harry Potter both will dance. And the backdrop just changes its color, so I just like it. And also the happy birthday GIF also looks very amazing. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe this project.